Hi data scientists, welcome back to Breath of Data Science. I'm Tarun, I have a master's in data science and I'm currently working as a data scientist in Germany. And I created this channel to share my knowledge of data science, programming and the related things. In my last video, I talked about how conceptually you can apply data pre-processing in your data mining and machine learning problems. In this video, I'll continue on that and showcase how you can actually apply the data pre-processing steps to your machine learning data sets using Python. So data pre-processing refers to the steps applied to make data more suitable for data mining and machine learning problems. And the steps that are generally used, they fall into two categories. First is selecting the data objects and attributes for the analysis. And second is creating or changing the attributes present in the data set. So in this post, I'm going to walk you through the implementation of data pre-processing methods using Python, as I said, and I will cover these following six topics. As you can see here, what libraries I'll use, then how to import the data set, then how do you handle the missing data and how you handle the categorical data in the data set and how you split your data set into training and testing parts which is mostly used for classification kind of problems. And in the end, I will tell you how you can do feature scaling. So for this uh, data pre-processing script, I will use uh, Jupyter Notebook. And uh, if you have not uh, used Jupyter Notebook in the past, it's quite straightforward. I'll mention a link in the description box uh, where you can download the Jupyter Notebook and install it on your system. Or the other way that you can do is if you have Conda installed in your system, you can use this command uh, to install all the packages necessary. We will use scikit-learn, pandas, numpy, detail, which is something that you might not be familiar with. I'll show you what it does and then notebook to install Jupyter notebook. But if you have pip installed, you want to install it using pip, you can use this command to install using pip. If you want to run it directly from the Jupyter notebook, you can run it like this with an exclamation mark in the beginning. Otherwise, you can just directly run it through your command line. Just a disclaimer that if you have not coded in Python beforehand, I would highly recommend that you learn a little bit to code in Python or at least learn how to read Python code. But if you have any idea of how to read Python code already, then you are good to go. So now getting on with our first step, which is importing the libraries. So here you can see that uh, I have all the libraries that we'll need written down here. So we'll use NumPy to handle numbers, Pandas to handle the data set, and Detail is a library where which you can use for a better representation of the Pandas data frames. Then scikit-learn.impute, simple imputer, which we'll use to handle the missing data. Then column transformer, uh, we'll use it to encode the categorical data present in our data set. Then label encoder and one out encoder, they are also being used for the encoding of categorical data. And then model selections, uh, train test split, uh, we'll use it to split our data set into training and testing data. And finally, standard scalar, we'll use this for feature scaling. So now if we run this and uh, then you can see uh, it all works fine. Then let's see what our data set looks like. So I just read the data set using Pandas and output it using the detail library, as I told you. So this is what our data set looks like. It has four attributes or columns, region, age, income, and online shopper. And you can see that region and online shopper are categorical attributes, whereas age and income are your numerical attributes. Uh, here, if you look at uh, the data, you'll see that we have two missing values. One missing value is in the age uh, attribute and one missing value is in the income attribute. And uh, so from the data that you see, you can see that uh, this data set is all about predicting whether a user is an online shopper or not based on the user's region, age, and income. So now let's split our uh, data set uh, into independent and dependent attributes. So as you can see, the first three columns are our independent attributes and the last column is our dependent attribute. So we can just use pandas iloc method to split our data set and let's see how does it look like. So as you can see here that okay, we have our uh, independent attributes in X and let's say if we plot the Y. Uh, then it has our online shopper or a dependent attribute. So now let's handle the missing data. Well, the first idea is to remove the lines or uh, the rows uh, 
uh, as you can see in our data set uh, where there is some missing data but can be quite dangerous because imagine this data set contains some crucial information this is a very small data set that you see right now but it could be the case that it's a very sensitive data set and there is crucial information present in every data object so uh, it would be quite dangerous to remove an observation so we need to figure out a better way to handle this problem and another idea that actually is the most common idea to handle missing data is to take the mean of the columns if those columns are your numeric columns so as you have noticed in our data, data set that we have two missing values and uh, one is for the column age for the seventh row and one is for the income column for the fifth row so uh, we'll handle these missing value using the mean because these both are numeric attributes so the way we do it is using the simple imputer as i mentioned earlier which will help us to kind of impute or insert the values that are missing so we create a imputer class and tell that okay fill the missing values with numpy.nan uh, uh, fill the missing values that are represented as numpy.nan and the strategy uh, that we want to use to fill those values is the mean of that column and uh, we want to apply that uh, to all the rows uh, to the first and the second column uh, in our independent uh, attribute data set which is x so just don't get confused that uh, since we are using one colon which is selecting all the columns uh, starting from the first column uh, or the index first uh, we only have 0 1 and 2 as you can see here uh, in x let me show you so 0 1 and 2 so if we start from the column 1 we'll only select two columns and then we apply that imputer transform to our uh, uh, those two columns and let's say if we want to look at that data So here you can see that uh, we do not have any missing values uh, now after applying this imputer. Handling the missing data, I also talked about it in detail, uh, how you can handle the missing data in a lot of different ways. Uh, in, an, in an earlier video, I'll tag that into the description box and you can also check it currently on the top right of your screen. So now you see that uh, in our independent attribute set we still have a categorical attribute we need to handle it before we can pass this data to a machine learning algorithm so um, as you can see we have two categorical attributes in total one in the independent set and one in the dependent set which is our target attribute and uh, which is the region and the online shopper variables and uh, they are categorical because they simply contain categories uh, so if you see here in this data set, uh, the region attribute, uh, let's go back to the original data set. So the region attribute has three values, which is India, Brazil, and USA, whereas the online shopper has two values, which is no and yes. Uh, so you can guess that uh, since the machine learning models are based on mathematical equations, and you can intuitively understand that it will create problems if we keep the text here in the categorical variables and uh, hence we want only numbers in the equations so we need to encode these variables so to encode these categorical variables we use this particular block of code what we do is we use the label encoder class from scikit-learn and then we tell uh, the label encoder uh, to fit transform the first column which is zeroth column or the region and uh, then uh, we tell uh, we create a column transformer which uses one hot encoding uh, to transform the categorical uh, attribute into a kind of a numerical attribute so what one hot encoding does is let me explain that to you first so let's uh, take this example to understand what one card encoding is. Uh, so let's assume the online shopper um, categorical attribute where we have no and yes. So uh, right now it's just one single attribute. If we convert it into one hot encoding, uh, so what it will do is it will create uh, two columns out of it because it has two values. 
and uh, let's say we assign 0 to no and 1 to yes and for every row where it is uh, no in our original data set so here instead of no it will be uh, 1 0 if it's one, yes then it will be 0 1 and so on and so forth so uh, okay then we transform our x or independent attribute then we do the same to our dependent attribute y as well and uh, if we look at that so now let's see how our data transformed will look like so let's first see how does y look like uh, let's let's create a new cell to see the data so okay we transform our categorical attributes into numerical attributes so let's see how x looks like so you can see since there were three different categories in region it created three columns and uh, it assigned one to uh, it assigned one to one of these uh, individual categories and uh, for every row you'll see only one present in one of the three columns and when you look at y now uh, you can see that okay it's zero and one uh, just because it was two uh, otherwise uh, it you can also do it in the way that i explained earlier where uh, you have two columns uh, where zero represents no and one represents yes similar to what happens in x so now our next step is to split the data set into training set and test data set so any machine learning algorithm especially uh, classification algorithms they need to be tested for accuracy and in order to do that we need to divide our data set into two parts training set and testing set and as the name itself suggests that we use the training set to make the algorithm learn the behaviors present in the data and check the correctness of the algorithm by testing on the testing set uh, so uh, in python we do it like this we use the train test split method from scikit-learn and uh, then we tell this method by what proportion do we want to split the data so 0.2 means uh, we want to have the test size to be 20% of the entire data set so and uh, we and we also split it into four parts which is x train x test and y train y test for all our uh, independent and dependent attributes so if let's say we want to look at the data how does it look So as you can see now there are eight rows uh, in the entire data set uh, of the X train consisting of all the independent attributes. So for example, let's say if I change this to 0.3 and then we'll see X train. Now you have only seven rows, uh, which is correct that 70% or one minus 0 0.3, 0 0.7 of the entire set is into X train. You can see the same for the other uh, parts of the data set as well so now let's uh, move on to the last part of our data pre-processing which is feature scaling and it involves something called variable transformation and i talked about it in detail in the last video where i talked conceptual data pre-processing and uh, as i mentioned that it's already tagged in the description box you can check it on the top right of the screen now as well so as you can see uh, in our original data set uh, so okay uh, this is our original data set this is age and this is your income uh, they contain numerical numbers but uh, you can see also that they are not of the same scale so the age it's between uh, 0 and 100 uh, at max uh, and uh, your uh, income is of five digits so uh, it will range somewhere between 10,000 and 99,999 so uh, in general but uh, in this particular data set uh, the age ranges from 32 to 55 whereas the salaries range from 57,000 to 99,000 and uh, because uh, this age variable and the salary uh, and because this age variable and the salary variable don't have the same scale it will cause some issues uh, in the machine learning models and why will this happen it's because the machine learning models uh, are based on what is called a Euclidean distance and in a Euclidean distance if one 
column or one attribute has a higher scale it will skew the distance in its own favor so that's why we use uh, feature scaling to convert our two scales into one single scale so we use a standard scaler for that and we do this for training and test set uh, for x which is our independent attribute and now let's see what happens if we look at our uh, x train now so you can see it's all between minus one and one, uh, which is by default uh, what standard scalar does. So this data now is entirely ready. Uh, the X train, X test, Y train and Y test. So X train and Y train are ready to be fed into the machine learning algorithm so that the algorithm can learn and uh, understand behaviors or patterns within the data to produce some results. And you can use uh, X test and Y test to test your actual accuracy of the model itself. And this concludes this video on data pre-processing in Python. I will put a link for the code and the data set in the description box and uh, you can download it from there.